All right, YouTube, today I'm going to play another round with um, with Mono Red. A little bit different build. I kind of want to try some on crop crashers. The card was very powerful beforehand. <coughs> I'm going to give it another try here. Turn it around. I got body by I played your style last weekend at GB Hartford. Made too many mistakes today too. What's your bill there? So I think I'm gonna play. I was a big Jun Shadow. Fan. As you know, I've been a huge Jun Shadow fan for like a long time. Even when like the mass thought it was Grixis Shadow, but like with the with the huge amount of humans. I just can't be, I can't deal with um, what's going on. I can't deal with the human deck playing Jun Shadow. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna play, um, I'm gonna play Grixis at the um, at the team event. You liked it? I find that deck so frustrating to play, cause like the deck is like. Like, obviously, there are lines that you can take to make you... So you play... Like, you can take educated lines. Like, when do I burn an inquiry versus when do I goblin lore? All that stuff. But sometimes you can do the right thing and still lose. You know? Because of how... The nature of the deck. And I find that very frustrating. When I tried playing it... I just could not, I could not stand that thing. All right, I don't know what's going on with my opponent. We're gonna save this. This is there's probably some kind of token deck. I'm actually just gonna shock my opponent now because it's a lightning bolt. All right, you you wanna you want some you want some dinner, bud? Oh shoot, I wouldn't even play my Kenra. I was worried about talking to you. All right, well we're gonna still gonna play it because we want to make sure that we can play the hazard next turn. Well, actually, wait on. We can't play the hazard next turn, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna play it here. Water setup for Grixis Control style games versus the Weenie decks. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna play something like that, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna play Battle Rage too because I think Battle Rage is like just too important. But um, I've been playing a lot with Bobbles and Anglers with like the four Anglers. And I've been liking that a lot more. It's a little more, um, it's a little more, I guess I should, hang on, attack with all creatures. Love Halloween playing Shadow. Yeah, it's a good deck, but like, it's got its weird, it's got its flaws, right? Like there's sometimes, that, am I gonna get like Settle the Wreckage here? Fuck yeah, I am. Alright. Alright, that's that's how we do it. I mean at least I'm gonna definitely attack with this hazard next turn and we get that out of the way. <clears throat> I just get frustrated with the when, when I tried playing the deck, was that like sometimes I took the optimal line and I lost because of it. If that makes sense. Gonna... I feel like I don't want to attack with my Hazaret. Yeah, I don't really think I want to attack with my Hazaret. Because, like... I am going to play this Chain Whacker. Because next turn, ideal... Because this is four. And I deal at least. What's up, bud?
Yeah, I was so I was so sad. I was so high on that Gen Shadow deck for a while, but like. Man, we got super punished. Yeah, I guess I guess I get what you're saying there, Delray. But like it's just frustrating because I can I can deal with like a variance. Like I can deal with like a blood brain elf card, you know? But like what I can't deal with is if I burn an inquiry and I ditch like two hollow ones and another random card and keep all my blood gas. And then it's like I've actually lost because of the card that's supposed to win me the game. And like that's frustrating. I should start paying attention to what's going on here. It's gonna get fumigated. Okay, well we're gonna just bring this back. Like that was just the, the most annoying part of the deck when I played it. That I couldn't stand. If I if I had more cards, if I had the cards, I would try to learn humans. One of my teammates has the deck, but I just don't have the resources to learn it on Moto. Or to get it on Moto. The caverns and everything is just so expensive. I should have bought into the deck when they unbanned like Bloodbright Elf and all that, because like all the cards just went so down. Jesus Christ. Lich's Mastery. All right. We have Authority of the Consoles also. Okay, so you can gain some life. <coughs> so it's going to make it tough to kill it next turn, unless even though, even if I draw like a, a threat off the top, because it comes into play tapped. Less for saying goldfish decks like king. Yes, I actually think. Yeah, I think that the, if you look at just. Well, this sucks. If you look at the um, tournament from last week, like, this is a great time to play Death Shadow. I should have played my Hazard before combat. That was a mistake. So I'll probably end up sacking this Bomat Courier at the end of the turn. Well, no, that doesn't make sense. I might sack, well, hang on. I might sack this Bomat Courier just to draw a card so I can go like empty, deal two to them, untap, empty, empty, and then don't lose the settle the wreckage. And I, but I understand what you're saying there, Xenophay, and like I don't want to say like Hollow One's like not skillful at all, because like every deck that you take seriously in Modern it, or in Magic is very skillful. But like you just lose because of some of your decisions, and even though those decisions are right. Approach. Okay. They're at twelve, so they're at twelve, and they can go to fifteen, so I can do ten. So I have to think. So I can do sack this, draw a card, ditch. Draw, I can do six plus nine. Yeah, so this is how we do it. Then we just don't play a creature. So against this deck, I probably want these in here. I don't think, I think the Chain Whirlers are probably garbage. Um, that's the city's blessing. I 
I'm gonna keep the rest. Well, I'm gonna keep this P. I'm gonna bring in P and K in a lot because at least like this can pump, pump an art. They can pump a bow mat or something, and it's two bodies. I don't really know. The the other card seems really slow. I kind of want to keep all my burn for reach. I don't know. It's probably wrong to do that now that I think about it. Yeah. Play this. And I'm just gonna shock my opponent here. The shock turns into lightning bolt, so. takes my hazard. I think I'm just gonna play the crasher and go to town. Takes my Pia Malar. That's odd. So I don't think I mind attacking with these because if I get settled here, whoa, Phil, whoa, whoa, buddy. You hungry? You hungry, pal? Yes, dad. Because if they settle me here, I'm gonna have my lands at least to start doing stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's just a contempt, okay. All right, we'll we'll take it. I mean, it's it kind of sucks that we don't have these lands, but what are you gonna do? My opponent rats the board here. I could be in trouble. Really too too much I can do. Search your library filler. This is the one that turns into maze of it, right? Yeah, that's that's annoying. That's a way to deal with Hazaret. I think the humans deck is really good. I think that deck is like if you can build the right kind of list and get it set up for the week, like I think that deck's really good. Um Battle the bridge? Alright. That's kinda cool. It doesn't I guess it kinda matters, because like if I draw a land, this means I can bring the hazard down next turn. And then like make this well, I guess this doesn't matter yet. This yeah, that was stupid. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't know, I'm making all kinds of mistakes with this deck. This deck's hard to play. There's just a lot going on. I agree. Land. Off the top land. Gotta get settled. Gonna feel sad. Contempt? Okay. You only gotta have you only gonna have so many of those contempts, man. Yeah, I think humans. I think humans and Hollow One are like the like clearly two best decks. I think that the Death Shadow decks will be very good at the next big modern tournament because of how uninteractive the metagame has become. 
And the best way to beat, like, the best way to beat, like, non, the best way to beat this non-linear or, like, linear bullshit is to just play Death Shadow. Yeah, I think this is what I think I'm going to play um, for the team tournament, Del Rey. I don't know about the sideboard yet, but I felt pretty good with this main deck here. I guess I'll act here. <coughs> Shock my opponent. I want to keep this other Hazret in my hand for as long as possible. Because just in case they find a way to deal with this Hazret, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to get in trouble. Um, yeah, so I think this is what I'm going to play. I'm not sure about my sideboard, but I'm pretty sold on this main deck right now. I think this one. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna play 17 lands. Um, oh, right here. This this is this was the new one that I'm playing. I think I'm gonna only play one basic and just play 12 fetch lands because like I'm sort of into like maximum greed with this mana base because like I don't think that we're gonna win those games anyways. Um, what makes Grixis better than Traverse against humans? You just have more removal. You have more removal and you have Snapcaster. That's really it. Like, both the decks... I guess I should move back into my game. Both the decks, it's kind of... Um, like, both decks have slight a slight Battle Rage or Bust aspect to it. Because, like, if you don't draw Battle Rage, you don't have a lot of outs in either game. But I think that Grixis has the ability to grind through a little more than the Jun deck does with the removal. And I think with the bobbles in there, I have a lot more like crisper turn two angler draws, so I'm a little more threat dense. And I like how ta I like how angler is just bigger than time while I trade to reality smash. I just really don't like Tasker. You're never activating it. If you're activating it, you're you probably lost those games, in my experience. I really don't. Yeah, you can just go you can just go over the top, or no, you go over the top. You can play a longer game. Do you want food? Do you want food? Or do you want to go out? Alright. Um. Okay. Snapcaster Mage is like okay. I find myself boarding out Snapcaster Mage. Oh, so this is. That's bad. That probably ends this game for me. This flipping. Well. It doesn't even close to end this game for me, actually. Because this has right, it's just gonna be removal. I find myself boarding the Snapcaster Mage out quite a bit. Like, if you don't want to run Teamer Battle Rage, I think that'll be great. If you don't run Teamer Battle Rage, why do you think that, Del Rey? If you want to run Teamer Battle Rage, oh, oh, I got you. Yeah, we're just gonna like poke them. It's kind of neat how. I can attack with this fanatical firebrand, and then when they untap it, it makes it so that if they like wrap the board, I can still get them. Oh gosh, I zoned out. I'm just talking too much to the chat, Cody. Like I'm talking Death Shadow with here with uh, Del Rey and Xenophane, and like I'm hardly I'm playing a deck that I'm not super aware with. So, I'm just sitting here chatting, which actually was kind of big, right? I guess it doesn't really matter, because if all works out here, I'm going to attack with both. Oh, yeah, I should have attacked Cody, for sure. Thopter arrest? That sucks. All right, you got it, dude. So now we need, we need like, we need a shock. I don't know, we have, we have a decent amount of outs here. We got a field to ruin this. They have graveyard shenanigans. 
That's actually, that's interesting. So now I probably just lightning strike them and knock the top of my deck, right? Like shock does it. Come on, Chandra does it. Bomac Courier kind of does it. Yes, I would play three Battle Rages if I was going to play Traverse. I probably would not play white. Would not play blue either. I think the format's in such a place where the blue cards aren't that good. So we get him for one. You hungry? Yes, Dad, I'm hungry. Dad, feed me. I will, bud. Oh, that's annoying. What a top deck. They should crack it right now. Yeah, we're gonna let that happen. I could I could cycle the Bomac Courier into something there. Which the I don't have that many outs. Feed the pupper your animal. I will. Don't worry about it. I will. You little fatty. You're a fatty. Come here, Phil. Come here, buddy. Buddy, you want to be on stream? Do you want to be on stream? Well, I don't know, Dad. What, is hap what happens on the stream? Come here. Oh, Phil, we drew a good one. We drew a good one, buddy. You shall lick my ear off. So how do I win? I guess if I attack with everything, and if they untap my fanatical firebrand, they're gonna die. Can I come down early to hang out with the pupper? Sure. Well, let me ask my wife. So you're just gonna eat my ear off here? What's going on? What are you doing? Okay, so they untap the Bomac Courier, okay. What's up, pal? What's up? You're so cute. You're so cute. You are so cute. I know. No, I'm super fucking cute, Dad. Right? I'm super fucking cute and I'm over this shit. You were such a good boy today. You know that? You're getting so big. Are you so long now? Which is my favorite part about him. He's just huge. Look how big he is. Like, he's so much bigger than he was. Like, he's getting close. He's almost. Oh, alright, I'll put you down. Hang on. I got you. He's almost time and a half a pro that sucks. He's almost time and a half the size that he was when we got him. I finished my final Thursday night around 9 10 p.m. So we 6 a.m. Friday. Yeah, I mean if you if you want to. I don't really know why I'm still playing this game. Might as well get another card off my bow, my courier. Definitely gonna pop this bow, my courier right now. Guess my best draw would be like a Chandra. Chandra would be like a repeated two set of damage. What an obnoxious deck my opponent has. Just black, white. Approach from the second side. Alright, let me draw Chandra. Alright, that's something. I guess I'm gonna draw this bow cast his bow my courier too. 
just be mana efficient. Now I've actually kind of got him here, unless he draws away, because like I can pump one of my artifacts. So I'll attack with all this. I'll attack with both of these creatures. He'll untap one of them. Then I can go pump it for three. So three, four, five, six. And this is seven, eight from the shock. So we should be in good shape. Though I guess he can actually wait, right? Untap target attack creature and remove it from combat. So he can actually just wait for me to act. Noxious gear hole, Jesus Christ. I haven't seen this guy in a hot minute. What does this do? At X, where X is your life total. God, this is so obnoxious. Shock you. So, one, two, three, four. I guess I have to actually just like pass priority after he does this. His second sunrise is like two cards down, I think. He's gonna do it next turn. <coughs> God, this is so obnoxious. This is still the first match of this league. Jesus. Jesus Christ. That authority, yeah. We're gonna take about one more draw step here. And I don't think that, I think that authority kind of shuts us off. Hazard can still. I mean, Hazard is just such a good card that it can it can win games on its own. That's pretty good. Let's go to attack. It actually doesn't make them gain life, either, which is great. We needed this Chandra a couple turns ago. The stop to arrest deal with Chandra. Right, artifact and creature. Okay. So hang on. This is one, two, three, four, five. So. Wow, they're going to give it to me here? Take this out of combat. So one, two, three. Oh no, they're eight. Never mind. So I might as well just pump this. No, I'm gonna hit this one. Get in there for four. Does four? Yeah, I can't. I can't kill them. Oh, could it hit Lightning Strike? Lightning Strike. I guess it would have been Shock, right, Co Cody? Shock would have done it. Exactly Shock. I have, I, have two, I have three Shocks in my graveyard, so it would have been my fourth Shock. Right? I guess we, if I had made mana with Chandra, then I could have done it. Yeah, but I made mana with Chandra after. So this is like a lightning strike. All right, it's not. All right, dude, just kill me. The second sun's gotta be, it's gotta be somewhere. They gotta have this thing rolled up, right? Do they not have one, two, three, four, five, six? They don't have it. Right, they just don't have it. One, two. One, two, three. Yeah, we're gonna win. Oh my god. Phil, we're gonna win. This is unreal. Yep, yeah, we won. Holy shit. Alright, I'm gonna go feed Philly.
Okay. All right, we're back. Let's get in for another match. This is the best way to do it. I work hard on my stream. I work hard to make sure my stream is like slightly above average. We get some more tea. I'll be right back. Take it easy, Xenofatty6. Appreciate you hanging out tonight. My stream was really good this morning. I played Red Green Monsters this morning, and I got up to like 180 viewers. I was like second on Twitch, something like that. I was up there for a little while. One of my, I think it was my second most viewed stream. I think it's a guy that's going for the 4 1. Holy shnikes. That means we're playing against a real deck, which is nice. Alright, I'm going to keep this hand. So I think the best cards in standard. I think I think the cards that are going to like do really well from the new set. I think Land of War Elves is obviously very good. Yeah. I was, I was up there this morning. I think Land of War Elves is going to be really good. I think Goblin Chain. Whirler is going to be really good, and I think Karn's going to be really good. I think those are like the cream of the crop standard cards. Dude, push it. Yeah. Push my shitty car, dude. Alright, so we're playing against vampires. So I'm going to get in with my Kenra while I can. They easily can put two X1s into play, and then my Kenra doesn't do anything. I don't think this is a very good matchup, though. This is like a um, Chain Whirler kind of, or Bust matchup. Hopefully I draw like a one mana play so I can go like boom, boom. Have like a really productive turn next turn. Number one, non tokens. Oh man, what a beating. He got the token too. So I have to kill this. That's not bad. I think I'm just gonna like play the Bowmat Courier out because if my opponent wants to block and trade with it. I think I'm okay with that because it means I'm getting in for two damage and um, my opponent's deck's like a critical mass deck and I'd like to try to keep that down as much as possible. It's like we just got one point of damage and we're okay not doing that. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Like their, their creatures are worth more one, as soon as they have this anthem. So we're gonna play, we're gonna go in here and attack, and then play a Kari Zev. We only have two Kari Zevs in our deck, we do both of them. What a tilt. And then we're gonna hope that the Hazman takes us to the Promised Land. I wonder, oh man. I wonder if I was supposed to play both Kari Zevs there, just to make sure that I could attack with Hazard next. That seems pretty odd, but I could understand a place where that is where that is right to do. All right, that's that's gonna be tough because now I no longer have good attacks anywhere probably. All right, so we're dead. We're just wicked dead. Also gaining like they're gaining a million. Yeah, we're good. We're good here. We are good. So let's see. I don't think I have much of a sideboard for this kind of a matchup either. 
Like, we have, the, we have on crop crashers to make sure some things can't block. We can kind of, like, maybe these Kari Zebs aren't good. Maybe I'm just supposed to have, like, a bunch of removal in my deck, but then, like, that sounds awful. Probably we want to go to the skies. So the Rekindling Phoenixes are good. Um, these Crashers are probably actually not very good when I think about it. The Harvesters are probably fine. Maybe we want to ditch some of this removal and then bring in the PNLRs. Yeah, I can buy that. All right, let's give this a try. I would assume that, yeah, I would assume this is a matchup that we just like can't win. This is a deck that Johnny's thinking about playing for the, um, for the team tournament. This hand's like not that good. We get to go one, two. Yeah, I think I'm gonna ship this. <coughs> All right, we're gonna keep this. We're gonna keep any action on top. Any spell that costs less than three on top. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is, Phil. Philly went to the dog park today. Got got beat up there a little bit. He usually gets beat up the dog park though. He's he's a little, he's one of the smaller dogs, and he's not really super coordinated yet. So he kind of like stumbles around and bebops and all that stuff. Like he doesn't he he's not he's not super athletic yet. And I think this card's really good. This card's super good. Like. This card just makes this card, like, not, like, this card much worse. Um, it makes, like, this card can single-handedly, I think, beat this token deck if this token deck has, like, a weird draw. I've been talking to Tom about it, and I think what Tom wants to do is he either wants to play, like, he either wants to play Mono Red or, like, the best Land of War. That's a, that's what we need. I like I like the I like this deck a lot though. I like the green red deck I played. The only problem is I kind of felt I don't know. I've gone like. I've cashed every league except the last league when I just got bodied by some scared god decks. <coughs> yeah, mono red or mono gal type. All right, we can smoke this. Play, play a one drop. Oh, man. Get on my face. Now I'm probably gonna save this war chain, this um, chain whirler for something like a. This Chain Whirler also hits players and Planeswalkers, which is awesome. Imagine if this was in, like, the Devotion format. When this card was in. Honestly, it might just, like, upstairs this Lightning Strike. Because next turn is the Call of the Feast turn. Adanto's Vanguard. I think I'm crashing in with all of these and then playing an Aether Sphere Harvester. And I'm just like totally okay if my opponent wants to take four damage to kill this Earthshaker Kenra. Or they just want to trade with it, I'm okay too. I also might like on the stack hit it. This Vanguard seems like an absolutely terrible card to keep in, to keep in your deck against Mono Red. So they're just gonna let this happen. All right, we're gonna play this Harvester. And they can Fatal Push this if they want. Maybe that's what they're trying to set up. Yeah, so that's what's gonna happen. So this is a big turn. This is like the Call of the Feast turn. So we definitely wanna hit. Like hopefully they go Call of the Feast, we Chain Whirler and then get in. If we can Chain Whirler after they Call of the Feast, that's just gas. Looks like it's gonna happen. Come on, tap four mana. Come on.
Yeah, there we go. There's a big turn. Just get out of my face. This card's nuts. This card's absolutely nuts. I also like how vehicles play in this mono red deck. Like so much of this mono red deck has haste that the vehicles effectively make it feel like every single card has haste. Chain whirler is gas. All right, I'll have another one. At least we have first strike, so like they don't gain life off of it. They don't have an answer to this for Kindling Phoenix yet, so. <laughs> they actually can just like chump one of these and then before damage kill this Harvester. Like, oh no. Like, you let first strike happen, smoke. Push. Wow. I guess they have like a, maybe they've got like a, whatever it is, a um, anthem effect. They're just going to try to crack me for six here. To kind of help swing the race a little bit. Got the Vanguard. Yep. Now these have Vigilance, they get it for six, but we crew, crack them for eight, and then we just lightning strike them out of the game. And then we make sure to fire up here, crew one. They're tapped out. They have a white land up. There ain't no path to exile in this format. I have to not attack with this Chain Whirler. <coughs> All right. Going game three. Going to the skies is how we win. We just chain whirler and attack in the air. That's the game plan. Um, I'm gonna go with the soul scar mages aren't that great on the draw. I mean, this is kind of this kind of feels like a crapshoot. Like whatever. Like, I don't think I'm gonna win, but like, you know, if we do, we do here. Yeah, we go one, two. Hopefully we draw land, we can go one, two, three. That's kind of the best we can ask for. Maybe I should have a little bit more removal on in my deck after sideboard on the draw, because I'll be a little slower. We just want to draw lands and chain whirlers. That's all we want. Alright, that's a good draw. trying to get in here. This Soul Scar Mage is better um, in a longer game than this Fanatical Firebrand is because if we have Soul Scar Mage out and we have a Chain Whirler, we can neg one, neg one their entire board. Yeah, we'll take that. We're definitely in the in the, in the the territory for doing that. Don't play a Lord. They're going to play a Lord. All right. Probably have to restart Moto after this. I'm dropping a couple bits. Actually, wish this guy would, would block. At least they only have three cards left. So like, maybe they just have like absolute crap left over. 
They just concede it. They just scoot. All right. I'm going to put up... Um, just going to put up the sponsor page again here. I um, appreciate everybody coming over. My name's Dylan Hubby. I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. You guys are here at my stream. Please hit the follow button. It's the best way to see me. I'm trying to get up to 1,000 followers. I'm getting close. So if you guys want to hit the follow button, that would be sweet. If you want to support me more, go to my YouTube channel and subscribe to that. It's free. Um, I archive all of my streams on there. I'll put up four videos today from each of the four leagues that I'll have streamed. So you should check those out. Um, you should check out Gamer Craze. Their Crystal Commerce is linked below. Uh, they foster a college environment, so their prices are really competitive. Card Hoarder is the best bot chain in the business. Between the podcast, the team, all I do for the community. And check me out on Twitter. That's where I love to talk magic. Yeah. So, oh, I guess I jumped the gun there on that a little bit. But what are you going to do? I appreciate everybody for showing up and following today. Um, I think I'm actually at 199 YouTube subscribers. I think I'm like... I need 1,000 to get monetized. So that's probably never going to happen. But, like, I might as well do it. I play enough Magic where, like, even if there's, like, a chance that... Um, even if there's like a chance that I can get any sort of compensation out of it, that's just sweet. Looks like we're back. We just had a we had a little moment there. So let me go refresh the stream here. Make sure we're still alive. It says we're good. I hate I hate it when people do this, but I'm sorry. I'm just gonna eat a quick orange while I'm here. Yeah. So I've only played. I probably played thirty or so. I guess this is my sixth league so far with Dominaria. And to what I've seen, the most impactful cards right off the bat. Wow, what is this? The most impactful cards right off the bat are Chain Whirlers, Llanowar Elves, and Karn. I think Karn is like... And Karn... Karn's like aggressive, which is sweet. I think Mardu vehicles could easily like cut Hazret and just play Karn. Cause like Mardu vehicles was never like it was kind of like an okay Hazret deck. It was never like aces. Because like you have like a license disintegration, you all have clunky cards that you need targets for, it's hard to get empty your hand. My God, thanks for subscribing to the YouTube channel. Number 200 is Michael Arrow himself. What a guy. I can't believe it took you this long to subscribe. You 
asshole. It's good tea. Yeah, we got three lands and a chain world. What more do we need? It's kind of cool because like the, between the chain whirler and the crasher, we kind of got all our bases covered. The power volumes. Right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go throw this away and actually turn the tea water back on. destined to do well in this league. Oh, we're going to play like the mono red mirror here? I have no idea how this plays out. I would assume that Chain Whirler is not very good in the mono red mirror. I kind of want a double spell. I just want to get my hand empty, and I want to save these crashers for when my opponent has something for me to do. Or something for me to, like, use it on. I'll yield. This Soul Star Mage is sweet, too, because if they play, like, a bunch of creatures, we can play this Chain Whacker. Oh, this is going to be great. The next turn we have to do it again. We even, if they play like, if they get a decent board out here, we can actually Chain Whirler them. Yeah, now we can definitely just Chain Whirler because it's gonna make it, um, it's gonna make it so like this doesn't kill our, this creature. We can get in a little bit more damage. Actually, hang on. What if I just crash or this? This is interesting. I don't really want to play on crop crasher because I think it's going to get killed. What I do want to do is I think I want to play the chain whirler. Looks like my opponent's at six. We get him for a point of damage. Our Crasher's gonna exert so we can play our other Crasher here, and now we have their first two blockers covered. Okay. Okay, so cards are not good. Crasher's not good. I don't think they want four Whirlers. Um. And I, I remember my friend telling me that Lightning Strike isn't that great. Like Magma Spray you probably want. Probably want a Braid. I probably can just Clean Shade switch these. And the PNLRs are probably fine. I have to cut one card. Probably cut a card. I would assume the Rekindling Phoenix isn't very good. Because, like, well, maybe it's okay. We'll try this. 
Even though, I guess I'm going to go with a Chain Whirler. It might not be that great on the draw. I want to keep, like, a little low to the ground. I really have no idea. Like, I'm just taking cards in and taking cards out without any real big ideas. I need to look up, like, a... If I was going to play this deck a little more competitively, I would look up, um... I would get something more... I'd look up a sideboard guide, which I assume is on Reddit, or, like, Matt Focals has... Has something. How's the chat doing tonight? Um, yeah, we can keep this hand. We can go one, two. We can empty our hand and play a couple pretty impactful, like, we have some pretty impactful cards already rolled up. Like, we're just curving. Wow, our Bomat Courier's gonna get in, too. That's good. Hopefully they use removal on my not Ether Sphere Harvester. That is the plan. Oh, we're about to get Chain Whirlered into next year. Oh yeah. Alright, this card's good in the mirror. I literally, like, figured that out right as I was casting it. I was like, oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be real tough. This is gonna be real bad. My tea water's ready. I'll be right back. this hazard down but I don't think I'm gonna get my shots in while I can here because I want to gain a life before this gets abraded and if they try that shit next turn I'm gonna get him with the uh, chain whirler Yeah, the chain whirler is really good. Like we're gonna we're gonna chain I think we're gonna chain whirl our opponent into the moon here. Oh, they're just opponent's just coming in hot. Yeah, I think even though I think we're just gonna cast this. Because this is gonna turn hazard on. Like we're gonna get a card. gonna like crack in here I could hold back this hazard and block this so they kill this they hit me for four so I'm dead to they kill this I'm dead to like I'm not dead to a lot, actually. They would need to go, like, spell, spell, hazard to kill me. Yeah, I think we're getting in here. All I gotta say is the heat is on. Okay. Okay, so they have one more point of damage that got me. Alright, they win spell, spell, hazard. Right. 
We called it. We called it. That's how they beat us. Uh, I don't want this card. This card's not nearly as good as this one. I want a little bit less removal, and I want more of these chain whirlers. Put them on the play. Their chain whirler was really good. I should keep my soul scar. All my soul scar ranges are in. No, I should bring in the soul scar mage. Because soul scar mage actually is a way to deal with Hazret. One drop, one drop, one drop. And we have great follow-up. So, so this is this is a pretty promising hand. We just want to draw lands. Okay, that's step one. And now get Chain Whirler to the moon. play my harvester it gives them a two for one. Oh shit i always forget that this is this this isn't like spells it's any non-creature things missed out on a point of damage that could be big they say braid that so if he chain whirlers me now i'm in trouble jesus My chain roll was bigger than his, but oh, that was bad. This chain roller is fucked up. Good. I can't really attack because I'm trading chain roller for chain roller. This phoenix comes back. doing this so they can put it back in their graveyard. Not their graveyard so they can internalize it next turn, but I just want to get punked out for two damage. That's not a bad draw. I think I'm going to crew this. I think I'm going to get in with this harvester. Be aggressive. And this means that like we're gonna attack like this, we'll get a redraw. If we find a way to deal with this Rekindling Phoenix after combat, then like we're gonna feel okay here. We were digging for a way to give our, our to get rid of that token after combat. So this comes back. They probably just attack with this. Now they're tapped out. I'm gonna attack with. Um, they actually probably shouldn't. This is probably on defense. 
Really would like a Hazoran. A Hazoran or my own Chain Whirler. Another Chain Whirler would be really good. I just want all of these Whirlers. That's all that I want. That's not good. So again, we're just doing this because it's free. And we want to gain life while we can. Because like, I don't want to sit on this and then have my opponent um, abrade it without getting anything out of it. Oh, I can scavenger grounds it. Ooh, baby. That scavenger ground was actually a much better draw than I thought it was. Okay. Now we're just a little harvester that could. We're gonna hold both of our lands because even if we draw a hazard, we can go land hazard and we're still in good shape. There's no sense giving my opponent enough information. They must be just flooding out too. Chain Whacker. It's kind of a free block. The Elemental's not doing anything. Another Chain Whirler would be sick, because that means this one could attack. I need to turn my light on, it looks like. Sorry if that's loud. Oh god, I'm, this is so uncoordinated. They must just be like flooding egregiously. Yeah, that's a really good draw. And now like even if they block here, we just go first strike damage. Um, smoke this. Actually, they're just dead. As long as, as long as I don't let two blocks happen. Okay, so they got that. They're still dead. No, they're not dead. They had to block hazard. They're dead. Yeah. All right, sweet. Yeah, I mean that happens, dude. Two more matches here, and then we're gonna get going. We're gonna call it a night. Really appreciate everybody showing up and hanging out tonight. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all doing great. You guys should all be like Micah and go subscribe to my YouTube channel. All of my stream archives up there. I literally had it, like this isn't gonna sound like boastful. It's gonna sound like super boastful, but like I've literally had people tell me they've learned to play Death Shadow from my channel. Like, I'm not, the, I'm not the best Death Shadow player, and it's hard when you're streaming, but I know a lot of the philosophy behind it, and I talk about that. So, it, it's, a good, it's a good place to learn if you want to play one of Modern's, like, best slash hardest decks, I think, to play. complaining to be prepared. Ship it hot sauce. Combo deck. Oh, I'm gonna keep this hand. It might be right that three whirlers is the number. Alright, we're all everybody's on the mono red train. I'm gonna 
2 Cashing our whirler. Um, I think I'm gonna kill this before this gets out of hand. It's so weird because like card advantage doesn't matter out of these decks. Should be mana efficient. They're both gonna die. Next turn we can go double Kenra. Yeah. Yeah, it's so weird how like this is just a hazard. Right? Okay, we can only Phoenix. I can't really beat that one either, but. Not being able to play this whirler is awkward. Then I'm just gonna attack. My opponent's got a spell. Then they've got a spell here. They'll trade. We'll be able to bring them back. At least we dealt with the Phoenix. I don't think my opponent has a spell. I think they've got just another land. But I'm wrong. Yeah, we get two for Which sucks, but we gotta make them have it. So now if we just draw lands, we're in good shape. Because that means we're gonna get this. We draw lands or hazard. We're both kind of in the same place. Oh, they're gonna. So now we wanna draw lands. Or we wanna draw hazard. Excuse me. Good draw. We're just gonna play it out here. We're not gonna get any value out of it. Hopefully they didn't draw a shock. Maybe we drew a hazard. Soul Scar Range interacts pretty well with hazard. Okay, so in the mirror we want, we don't want lightning strike. We don't want crasher. I don't really remember how I boarded. We want this, this. Piano, or I don't even think Rekindling Phoenix is that good. Maybe Rekindling Phoenix just shouldn't even be in this deck anymore. Cause like this card is the nut. I'd hold on to that one. I think that, I think this card is the absolute nut. Soul Scar Mages. I guess I don't want it more than two. I guess I think I boarded out a shot. I think I switched to shock for a lot of threes. This card's just the absolute nut. The stone cold nutter butters. We have two of our best cards. That's what we're looking for. We'll play this out and then play the bow mat next turn. Actually, gonna hold off. Yeah, I, think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna threaten to save a day. I don't want to trade one for one now. <coughs> Black white Harlan. 
I think a card that could be in the Black Red Hollow one deck is uh, Squee. I don't know if it's any good or not, because like that deck's not really interested in blocking. But if the metagame ever gets to a point where you do want to block, that card's kind of a cool card. All right, so they miss a land drop. So I think I'm actually, I don't think. Gonna get in there, and then I think I'm gonna play Pia. Pia's just two bodies. We have a good turn next turn where we can go like Harvester Soulscar Mage. Okay. And then we'll throw this Thopter in front of this Earthshaker Kenra. I think I'm all right. Well, this is so good if we draw a Chain Whirler. I think I'm going to keep it. Plus, it's also very good against Hazret. This game's going to go a little while longer. Actually, no, that was so stupid. I should have attacked because I had a second one. That was so dumb. And I always forget that this Harvester isn't a creature. And it triggers prowess. So dumb. Now that they're going to shock, they're going to shock their Soul Scarlet. Right here. Yeah, that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna magma spray. Right. Always yield. <clears throat> 20 viewers, I hope everyone's having a good time. Hope y'all are hanging out. We're live for the 5 0 here. Pretty excited about that. I did it like this because I thought if I targeted it with Earthshaker Kenra, it would get a spell. And then I would be able to um, respond with the shock on it, but it didn't end up working out like that. And now we're just going to try to get in for damage. I don't know if they're going to chain. Chain Ruler would be really good for them. Chain Ruler would be sick. Oh, shock. Okay. But Chain Roller would have been so nasty because with the Soul Scar Mage out, there would have been Neg 1, Neg 1 counters, and I wouldn't have been able to crew the Harvester. Okay, so. Now we get him for five. We're gonna undo all the attacks that they do. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, playing for the old Cinco de Mayo. Remember the 5 0 here. Here we go. Here we go with the 5 0. Philly action with me. This mono red deck feels better. Um, it feels better than the green red monsters deck. So I think I think I can say that. Something that might be sweet is that. Um, Something that might be really sweet. Let me think. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um, maybe Soul Tide. Maybe like this Hadana's Climb Snake deck with Land War Elf are very good. So 
maybe that. I haven't followed Santa in a while. Santa's in a pretty good place. What do you mean RDW? You mean modern? That's Marty, right? I gotta shit this hand. I need to hit two lands for this hand to do anything. Red deck wins. Yep. It's a good litmus test, I think, for the format. Like, if there's a red deck, that means the format's healthy. Because there's something to keep everything intact. Like, the red deck wasn't quite good enough. Like, well, I say it wasn't quite good enough, and then it 18 knows a GP. Alright, looks like we're just gonna bow mat past each other. That's nice to have, a, to have a, another spell. Hopefully they play a cat. Hopefully we just chain whirler him into the next into the moon. Oh, they're playing red black vehicles. All right, Hazret. Now I want to get this Hazret to come down on time, which is going to be pretty difficult to do actually. I think if I was going to play this deck, I would not play all the three drops because. The deck, it just gets a little clunky. All right, deal. We're gonna kill anything that's not an X1. Something cool, if my opponent plays a Nerd Ape here, we're gonna get the Nerd Ape also because this Bowmat Courier is gonna die. gonna like empty our hand out here like it's hazard time I feel like I have an advantage in this matchup purely because I have the chain whirler and I'm assuming that their deck plays they just let it go I'm assuming that their deck plays Unlicensed Disintegration, and I don't think that card is super great out of these decks. Oh, man. All right, we're going to attack first, and then we're going to put our opponent on notice that the Sheriff's coming to town. Sheriff has what's coming to town. Sheriff has what's coming to town. Sheriff has what's coming to town. It's just like disintegration is so slow. What are the odds that they have Vraska's Contempt? Probably slim to none. I'm gonna ditch this because there's a chance. Chief of Police. Yeah, dude, Sheriff Hazard. I think I'm gonna keep the land. I don't think they're gonna have a way to kill this Hazard. Yeah. And like, there's a chance that I'm gonna wanna get to six mana. Like I'd like to have that on lock here. This probably means there's another um, PA incoming. I doubt I doubt a deck with unlicensed disintegration has Vraska's contested. in here with Hazaret. This was also not too terrible of a draw. It is going to turn out to be pretty terrible if my opponent's last card is like Hazaret. If my opponent's got a Hazaret rolled up, we could be in trouble. But 
comes from Sandbox. This is kind of, well, so hang on. They have to block here. This eats my token. Killing Phoenix kind of checks the hazard. So I don't really have good attacks with Kari Zev because they just put this in front of here and then this They put this in front of here and they double block this. So I think I'm actually just gonna, well actually, I can attack with Hazret because they can't jump with this. Or I'll scavenger ground with it. So Hazret does, does like demand an actual chump block from an import, from a creature that will like whittle away my opponent's board. Yeah, they just must not see this. But it's also two chump blockers. Cause like this chumps, it also saves them some damage. Tight man, tight game. I got lose to a license generation. Three. I don't exactly lose, but I kind of lose. I do like how I get a free block on any of these things. Two, three, five. They can do five to me for a block here. Then this has to chump here. Yeah, that's exactly what So they're gonna sink their man into this. No, they're just gonna add to the board. Okay. Scratch from scrounger. Gonna land. Okay. So. This has to jump here. If I block this next turn, I take two, three, six, go to eight. What happens if I just attack with Hazard at play Hazard? Then my opponent's got no really good blocks. Can I kill them? So two, block, block. Can I just like burn them out over the span of a couple turns? This is a tough spot. I have no idea what to do. I don't know if I should just sit here and try to burn them out over four turns, which is a long ass time. Or if I should at least be just attacking with my Hazret because it abysses them. Because like then I block here. Like I assume they attack with this. They, and they, these three get through. And it's three, six, pump, pump. So I do need to be able to block. Or if I block this here, three, then it's two, four, five, pump, pump. They draw a land and I die. I actually don't think I can attack. Unless I attack with this. Block here. Two, four. Two, four. Pump five. Pump six. Pump seven. If I draw a land and I attack with anything, I die. So I think I've actually just got to kind of pass here. I died to a, I died to a lot of stuff. This Pia, 
Actually, they can fling artifacts. But if they're flinging artifacts, that's okay. No pump. Very interesting. Oh my god, that's absolutely backbreaking. Alright, we're gonna ditch this Hazret. exactly dead, but I'm pretty dead. What a game. I did not think that I was going to lose this game. Let me tell you what. So now he's just gonna pump with his P and K. He's gonna make this thing gain five life. Six, so we got a one. Unless this is an unlicensed D. But even if it was an unlicensed D, we were just dead anyways. What game? Desperation. Yeah, he's got it. Ooh, what a game. I did not think I was gonna lose that one. I think the red is really good. I think this deck's I think this deck's awesome. I think the chain roll is great. I think we're gonna board the same thing that we do for the mirror. I thought it was a GG. I was like, wicked that game. I hope they're not BMing me. But it was it was a pretty awesome game. I want these magma sprays, especially because they have um, especially considering they have whatever the dumb card is. No, I thought it was being cool. Nice. I think I want to make room for these phoenixes. I doubt my opponent has Chain Whirler because they're red-black. So the phoenix should be better. Depot Masty. So now we gotta set up this Whirler to be good. Wow. Well, if my opponent's got a Whirler like good on them like it's super greedy for a two color deck to be playing it but 
You know, like, way to go. If you got it, dude, you got it. Cross your fingers. Okay, nice. So we get to hit this with a raid. Okay. That's pretty sweet because now like the Soul Scar Mage will combo with the um, Chain Whirler for next turn. My draw, my draw was decent. So now they actually need to either they need to block two creatures. They need to stop four points for the in order for them to not die next turn. Yeah, dude, Chain Merle is like a little team up. Ballista's good. Yeah, Ballista's pretty good. What does Ballista do? Ballista here. So Ballista lets them live at one. Because they're going to kill my camera. But it makes this a 2-1. the scavenger grounds. So now we got trips lethals. Don't play a harvester. Don't play a fucking harvester. Hazard. They're still dead. Because one creature gets three. They're at one. This doesn't matter. Alright. Whew! Okay, um, I don't think the Kenra is as important on the draw. I think we want to just, like, be lean. I, I got, it's going to be crazy to cut these chain, these chain whirlers. These chain whirlers, these chain whirlers are so good, but maybe cutting, like, one of them is okay. How many one drops do they have? They actually don't have too many. They're kind of few and far between, so I think we can get rid of one. Maybe we want a Chandra? No. I think we just want like mono removal and then like a couple ways to slingshot us ahead, which are like these cards here. Ballista is pretty big game. We're gonna play the Soul Scar Mage first. It's likely gonna use a piece of removal here. Okay. <coughs> no creature on two is pretty good. That's a nice little follow up here. I probably should have boarded more of these out. I just have to draw lands for like the rest of the game. Give me lands. Oh, that's not good. I mean, a braid is one of my better cards. I'm really worried about a hazard. Though. Yeah, I, I can't ditch these. Firebrand. That's why I don't think this card is as good as it was. Don't play a fucking Glorybringer. You son of a bitch. 
That's a huge problem. I can deal with it. I need a land. It's like the next best thing, I guess. Maybe I'm supposed to hold up with the Firebrand because Firebrand plus a Braid kills the Glorybringer. He's just, he's a scavenger grounds. Oh, he's a two color deck. That makes sense. That makes sense. <coughs> I thought we could see old two for here. down and then we're gonna play the Phoenix next turn. I'll take three. Because the, the harvester undoes a Phoenix that undoes an attack from these guys. Let's get another fucking glory bringer. God that's vomit inducing. So I'm probably just gonna block here. If he, if he exerts. That gets us. Oh, we can block. Uh, go to one. The Glory B was too good. I think the Glory Bringer should be in my sideboard, not Rekindling Phoenix. Yeah, they got it. All right, let's scoop it up here. For one, still a good way to end the day. To end the stream. Let's open up a couple chests. We hit 200 subscribers on YouTube. Which is the best way to support me. Everybody in the chat, if you want to, like, go above and beyond and, like, not open up your pocketbook, I get that. The best way to do that is to check out my, my YouTube page. Let's open up a couple of these. Oh, Cascade Visions. Thank you very much. Oh, that's, uh, that's Micah. Thank you very much. Oh, we got offended heat. Micah was 200 and my... I guess 10th subscriber currently. There you go, we're having some more of these. Whatever, it was a great stream. Let's open them all up. Let's open up some treasure chests. What a guy. My God, it looks like we have the world's worst set of treasure chests. And it's all your fault. Look, cards banned. Man, that's bad. That's gotta be the worst set of eight treasure chests of all time. So let's look back.